Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to hop on and do a quick reveal of this vintage coach court bag. Um, but before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Um, I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Furla, and also some luxury um, small other goods like my Gucci wallet and my fiance's Burberry wallet. Um, so this is the Coach Court bag. I actually bought this off of Craigslist. I kid you not, Craigslist. So this bag is technically navy blue, um, according to the woman I bought it from. Um, she says that that's the reason that she didn't use it much, which is why it's in such great condition, because she doesn't like to wear navy blue with black. All that said, this bag looks black to me. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like I have it on a black surface right now and it, it looks black. So I don't know if uh, maybe it's like darkened over time or if um, the black bag, if you were to get the black version of this bag, um, was just like super dark. But yeah, I don't know. I bought this for $30, which is an insane deal. Um, if you know anything about the Coach Court bags, you know that they can sell on eBay for like uh, 50 or $60 plus 10 or $15 of shipping. So this was an absolutely fantastic steal and I'm so excited that um, both that I have it and that I like, you know, got it from someone in person so I could see the condition of the bag. I feel a little bit better about it because this is my first vintage purchase. Um, so I was like pretty nervous about buying stuff off of eBay because there's a lot of things that, you know, you can't really describe in an eBay post. Like, does the bag have a smell? Well, smells are a little bit um, personal or, you know, depends on how you perceive the smell or does the bag, you know, is it in even like good condition? The way that people define good condition is, is very variable. So all that said, I was very excited to find this bag and be able to see it in person before I purchased it. So um, going over the outside of the bag, the bag is a um, flat bag with a turn lock closure and a top handle. Um, so the turn lock closure, Coach is actually known for their turn lock closures. Turn lock closures have a history in the brand. You even see them on some bags today, like the Eddy has a turn lock closure holding the zipper, I think. I think it's the Eddy. Um, a lot of the bags have a turn lock closure holding the zipper in place. Um, so yeah, so that's like the classic coach turn lock with the flap. And then on the sides, you have this wonderful crossbody strap. It's uh, connected via these clips. And the hardware on this bag is not stamped with anything. I think obviously, um, so these bags were made in the USA, so maybe it was a little bit harder to get like custom um, hardware back then. I'm not really sure, but either way, um, they're not stamped with anything. And then the back has a slip pocket that is pretty pretty large. Um, and the inside of this pocket, so all of these kind of vintage coach bags, they are unlined. Um, so this side, of the um, slip pocket is like a smoother leather. I think it might actually be the same leather as this leather, except it's like not treated with a dye or, um, yeah, maybe that's what it is. And then this side is um, an unlined leather. It feels kind of like suede. I think it's gonna be really, really hard for you guys to see. Sorry, black bags. Um, okay, and then you have your top handle here, and that's one of the things that I really, really like about this bag is the top handle. Because, um, like I've said in many of my other videos, oops, I live in a cold climate, and sometimes getting a crossbody strap over a big winter coat is just like too much of a hassle. And the thing that I like even more about this is that, yeah, it's a top handle, but it lays flat against the bag. So when you're not using it as a top handle, it will just sit flush and not really like rub against your elbow or something if you're using this bag crossbody. Um, one thing I really like about these vintage coach bags is there's very little glazing on the outside of the bag. So you have, um, I think clear glazing here on the top handle. There you go. I think you can see that. And then you have, oh, and then you have glazing, um, on the sides of the loops here that are holding the top handle. Um, but otherwise you don't have any glazing on like the sides here because they've folded the leather over and they've stitched it in place. Um, so that will make the bag even more durable, right? Because you don't have to worry about glazing, chipping, or anything like that. One thing that surprised me is that the coach hang tag on these bags is really, really simple. Um, it's basically just a piece of leather um, with coach stamped on it. 
And then completely unlined, untreated leather on the back, like another suede kind of leather. And one thing that um, you might, that might be interesting, I guess, about Coach at this time period is that, I don't know if you can read this, but coat, it says Coach Leatherwear on the hang tag. Um, and apparently that's what the Coach uh, hang tags used to say, as well as the Creed. Looking at the inside of the bag, um, you have another beautiful little slip pocket here. And both of these slip pockets, both on the back and right here, are totally big enough for your phone. Um, again, it has like the, uh, this is the same leather as the outside of the bag, but maybe just less glossy. Maybe a little dried out, actually. Maybe I should condition that. And then on this side, right here, um, is the unlined kind of suede leather. Um, I'm going to take out the air paper that I stuffed it with. And then this is the inside of the bag. You can see, again, it is the unlined suede interior. Um, and then it has a zip pocket in the back here. The zipper works perfectly, which again was another thing I was just like so happy about. Um, and then if I could show you the Creed, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. So you can see the Coach Creed down there. So it says Coach um, Leatherwear underneath, and then the item number down there. So yeah, that is my first looks at the Coach Court bag. Um, the only things wrong with this bag when I got it were those white specks that I already showed you, and it had a bit of a perfumey smell, you know, kind of that perfume smell that a lot of older women wear. Um, I threw in a little bit of baking soda in a Ziploc bag, an open Ziploc bag, um, and now I think it smells pretty pretty mild. I do still kind of get a whiff of the perfume smell, but it's not nearly as strong as it used to be. Um, I've conditioned the leather on the outside, maybe I'll stick a little conditioner on the inside, but otherwise I think this bag is in absolutely wonderful condition. It's great quality. I'm going to shine up the hardware with some Brasso and then uh, take it out with me as soon as it stops raining where I live. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you have um, a vintage coach bag too. Um, I would love for you to share it in the comments below, maybe with some pictures, um, things like that. So yeah, thanks guys. Bye.